everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world and today it's time to look at our week ahead to see what this coming week has in store. So I've shuffled up the cards and I've taken a look here and I want to share with you some insights that I am seeing for what this week may have in store. And I'm thinking that this is going to be a little more of a global reading, um, not just the United States per se. So um, what's interesting is the first card out is on the position of what's going to be in the news, what's going to be getting our attention this week. Well, we have the devil card on that. Um, this is a card of bondage, materialism, very ominous looking figure there. But so having the devil on that question, we're going to be seeing things probably, since this devil card is a major arcana, it's going to probably be something big in the news that is going to result or at least bring about or bring about the feeling of being in bondage or enslaved or unable to escape, that kind of thing. So next to this devil card is the obstacle to this. And we have the card of conflict. And this is like picking up the spoils of war. Um, we may be seeing some type of armed conflict, I'm thinking, this week. Perhaps a nation is leading an attack on another. And there is some goal in mind with it. And obstacle or conflict, trying to, trying to enslave another people or bring another nation under your control. I'm thinking maybe conflict, possibly with what's happening with uh, Taiwan, maybe, um, and China being the aggressor. That could possibly play into this. But it could be other things too, so that's just an idea. But however this plays out, it's the feeling of uh, ha someone else having something you want, wanting to enslave them or take that over. So we'll see how that plays out this week. What's hidden from view, what's really happening, I've got movement on this. Another major arcana, this time the chariot card. And if that's what's hidden, that means that something is already in the works. It's already being strategized, planned, underway. And, you know, I, I'm seeing something too. There, there could be double meanings with a lot of these. Because I'm seeing something too with the medical. So something's already underway, perhaps under the pretense of a conflict being generated that is going to give the excuse to come in and... Um, maybe as a vehicle for bringing in further control or dominance. Uh, that's a really big theme this week is control, dominance, and trying to assert power and authority. So what are we releasing this week? Now, this is so interesting. Another major arcana coming out, this time the high priest, known as the hierophant here, but the Hierophant is all about that structure, control, tradition, bringing everything under one roof and having everyone basically be on the same page. It's kind of the card of group think. And if we're releasing that, perhaps we are coming to a place collectively of releasing or relinquishing those factions that are trying to control. I think we're going to come square head on with the forces that dominate and control, which naturally bring up a reaction of not wanting to be controlled because that's how human beings are. We tend to recoil when somebody tries to assert their dominance or control. Um, so there, look for a lot of that. There's a lot of energy coming at us this week in terms of control and the methods of control and the mechanisms. And that is what we are releasing 
at the same time is that notion that we have leaders, authority, control. You know, just as an aside, whenever I've seen this card come up, something I've noticed, you'll notice this, this religious figure up above. Is he's put himself in this position of authority and leadership, and there's people down below that are, you know, subservient to this entity. But as I key into this picture, I, I notice his feet right there, and they look so tiny. And to me, it's like, you know, underneath all of the, I'm the authority, I'm the one that gets to tell everybody what to do and you have to obey me. Underneath that is just a tiny person, just like the rest of us, that they're only looking big and authoritative because that's, the, that's what they have done with their life is they've put themselves in that position. But in reality, we are all the same. We are all brothers and sisters across this world and only some have tried to make themselves appear more important uh, than the rest so I just wanted to bring that up because I think we're going to be seeing a lot playing out this week we have seen so much over the last couple of years in terms of dominance and authority and telling people what to do with their lives um, and really does it the whole notion of that type of authority structure really goes against the grain as to human beings and what we are capable we're capable of self-governing every adult has the capacity to make their own decisions and their own choices and that but yet there there seems to be this drive of of authority and control and cracking down on people who are simply exercising their own right to make their own choices and their own self-determination. So that's what I see with this. It's like the emperor really has no clothes. He just puts this this big uh, field around him. Um, it's actually not the emperor. That's coming up later. But the hierophant, kind of the same thing. It's like this authority figure putting his authority out there, but really, it, there's really not much to, to back it up underneath. So what is the lesson this week? We have another major arcana. There's so many major arcanas in this reading this week. We have the strength card. What is our lesson? You know, this, this angelic being with the infinity symbol over her head is basically taming a lion is what she's doing. And it's through the spirit of gentleness, gentleness and meekness, but it's power nonetheless. Somehow that's our lesson this week is to tame the dragon, tame the lion, uh, not let the lion be a big scary thing, um, this perhaps that wants to dominate and control to realize who really is in control. It really does come back to the individual and our power, our strength within. And this is the lesson that we're learning. Do we give our power away or do we assert our own power and learn to tame the dragon, tame the lion? There's going to be a lot of lessons around that this week. And some of those aren't fun. A lot of life lessons are not exactly fun, but they're necessary and they're needed. And I think we're going to be coming face to face with some of our own, reconciling some of our own deep-seated fears around the issues of authority and control. Some people are afraid to assert their own authority and control over their own lives and they'd rather other people do it for them, which upsets the balance down the line. It's kind of like a ripple effect. You know, these things emanate and they go out. Our thoughts are things, our thoughts are creative, and whatever we project out gets mirrored back to us. But eventually the truth, the truth needs to come back home that controlling our environment around us is simply a matter of 
It's a matter of release and it's a matter of acceptance and understanding who we are, where our power lies and the seat of control. And do we, do we want to continue to give that to authority figures or others around us? Or do we simply rest in the knowing of who we are? These are kind of probably a little too deep for a week ahead video, but there's some really deep, deep things that people are going to be facing this week. Um, you know, life and death decisions, what you do in the face of difficulty, strife, contention, and who is responsible ultimately for the life that you live and the life that you create. So without getting too far into the weeds, that's that's kind of the sense of it. It's, it's a deep, deep dive this week. Next is what is the truth? And we've got the two of pentacles on that. There, this is a card of indecision, basically, or weighing your options. And there's going to be a lot of that. Some people are going to be asking themselves, what is the truth this week? Perhaps some are awakening to some of the lies that we've been listening to or fed over the last couple of years and longer. And this is like waking up to what is the truth. Is it this one? Is it this one? And like I said, this is a deep dive this week. This is an individual choice and an individual process this week for people to walk through. And it's not something that that I'm going to be able to say, oh, this is what what you're dealing with this week. It's It's going to be a deep dive on each person. I think a lot of people are going to be facing their own difficult life circumstances, maybe their own mortality, and asking and grappling with these kinds of questions. It may, it may kind of be heavy this week. What gives us hope this week? We have the knight, we have a messenger on that. I do sense some sort of message coming in with it too. I'm gonna pause the video for a moment. Okay, when I feel in intuitively to this question of what gives us hope this week, and I focus in on the artwork with regard to this Knight of Cups, my, my mind goes to a submarine. I'm seeing a submarine in the Pacific, and it's gathering reconnaissance. I believe it's either a U.S. or Russian, perhaps both but they are closely monitoring the happenings that we're going to probably see going down this week with the devil trying to take control. Uh, and I, I, somehow the message of what gives hope with this knight riding in on a white horse. Um, now I'm using that colloquially, but it's not so much I'm not painting the, the U.S. as the good guys here. I'm just saying there's something about uh, reconnaissance or information that's being gathered and the fact that the devil is being monitored and there there's something that they're gathering that, that's going to be used in assisting uh, resistance. So I, I don't, I don't personally believe right now that the powers that be in the United States are led by the good, so to speak, the current administration, but there's something about the military getting information that is going to be helpful or beneficial in the long run to preserving uh, perhaps helping Taiwan or later on. Okay, I, I'm not sure how I want to say this. So I want to leave room for expansion of what this could be about. I don't want to lock it into this is exactly what I'm what it is. But 
th there's something about what's taking place in the Pacific and it might look bad or bleak on the outset, but there's something that is going to maybe turn it around or be used to assist in some way, perhaps intelligence that's gathered from what's happening. Okay. All right. Last up is the outcome. We have the Emperor. Holy cow, with these major arcanas coming out this week. The Emperor. The Emperor. Power, control, authority. <laughs> this is this whole week is about the dance with authority and the interplay. Who leads? Who follows? Who gives up their power? Who takes power and takes charge? Uh, so this knight is facing right into the emperor as I'm looking at these. The knight is facing right into the emperor. What gives us hope is facing into this emperor. So somehow the powers that be are going to face off this week with each other, I think, in a possibly a spectacular way. Uh, we'll have to see how that plays out, but the energies of it are all about power and control and dominance. And who gets to and who should be leading? Who is usurping authority and who has rightful place and authority? And whether we as individuals in our own little microcosm you know what? That's a really good point, as I'm thinking this in my head. You know, what we're seeing playing out in the world is usually an expression of what is playing out in the microcosm. And so many of us, individually, are giving up our power and letting other people have power and control over our lives. Okay, that's just a fact. It's happening worldwide with the pandemic and all of that. And so naturally, we see it play out in the big grand scheme of things as well. We see usurpers that uh, shouldn't be in power that are. We see rogue country, countries that are going rogue, taking authority and power over other areas where they don't have rightful place. And maybe it's because what the lesson is, is that we have to take our own power back individually and work on ourselves and then we'll see that mirrored back to us there's a there is a dance between what happens out there and what happens in here as above so below and so what are we mirroring back are we giving away our power are we are we allowing ourselves to not have to not sit on the rightful position in our own lives are we allowing others to dictate and tell us what to do are we taking our power back and in the United States for instance you know there's a lot of people that believe that the event that happened last November was a power grab it was stolen a lot of people believe that and are these the same people that are not taking a power and authority in their own lives while expecting the projection of what we see for leadership? Oh, we want you to take back a power. We want you to be back in control, uh, Mr. T, for instance. But yet, individually, we're not doing that for ourselves. We're allowing our circumstances to dictate our lives we are submitting to tyranny on a, on this level and yes things all trickle down but i'm just saying maybe this is a picture what we're experiencing is simply a, a, a mirror image of our own abdication of our rightful place in our own lives so that's what I'm saying. This week's a little bit of a deep dive. Um, and I think it's maybe about just, just think about these things. 
and see what resonates with you. Um, I did draw something else. I found these little angel, I have little angel cards, like little word angel cards, but I found actual angel cards, little deck here. Um, and so I thought, you know, what is, what is a, a purposeful prayer for this week? And this, I did, I pulled this card before I laid out the tarot. And I got that this week is going to be about your life's purpose. From Archangel Michael, this is your life's purpose. So be thinking about that this week, about your life and your purpose. And there's a prayer that goes along with it. It says, the prayer to the angels, you know the details of my divine life purpose. And we know that the angels do, our guides do. They're there to help us. They know our purpose. They know why we signed up to incarnate on this earth plane and why we're here. Angels, you know the details of my divine life purpose. And I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide my actions so that I am taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful life's purpose. So take that prayer with you this week and maybe take back control where you've been letting other people, if this applies to you, if you've been letting other people run your life, and tell you what to do, maybe it's time to take back that power for yourself and say, you know what, this is, this is my role to determine my future and my purpose here. And perhaps if enough of us do that, maybe what we see out in the collective will begin to correct itself. Something to think about. All right, everybody, that was a little bit deep this week. Thanks for going there with me. I appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching. This has been your week ahead. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.